Yes, so this question is about calculating empirical formula. And then, you know, we will be talking about molecular formula. So here, you know, when we look at that, that how to calculate empirical formula here, what they have given us, they have given us a compound X, which contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen only. And X contains 54 point uh, 54% of carbon, biomass 9.909% of hydrogen and 36.37% uh, of oxygen. So whenever, you know, they have given us this percentage by mass, it means how much mass of each of us it is present, this percentage. So let's do it one by one. I put here carbon hydrogen, oxygen. What is the formula to find number of moles first? Number of moles for carbon, how I am going to do, what is the mass? 54.454 divided by atomic mass, which is 12. Hydrogen, 9.09 .09, and divided by atomic mass, which is one. For oxygen, it is 36.37 divided by 16, which is its atomic mass. Now, you know what we can do now? We can use our calculator to calculate them. Okay, so for carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, hydrogen, since it is one, it will be 9.09 .09. for Oxygen, I have 2.27, and for carbon, I have 4.54. Now, you know what I am going to do next step is to find the mole ratio. So what is the mole ratio? Let me change the color here, and we can do here next step. So this was our second step, number of moles. Now, second step is to find mole ratio. So now, you know, when I am saying like how to find the mole ratio, how we are going to do that select, which is the least as we see 2.27 is the least. So what does it mean? We are going to divide all of these values by 2.27. So when, you know, I divide 4.54, divided by 2.27, what do I get for carbon? For carbon, I get two. For hydrogen, 9.09 .09 divided by 2.27, I get four. And oxygen, of course, 2.27 divided by 2.27, it will be one. So basically the formula that I get for this, uh, you know, compound, the empirical formula is basically C2H4NO is one, so it's obvious, so I'm not going to write. So this is basically my empirical formula. I need to do two steps. First step is to find number of moles, and second step is to find mole ratio. Now we will move on to our next step where they want us to find molecular formula. Molecular formula is very easy how we are going to find. In molecular formula, they have already given, uh, given us the mass, molecular mass of this compound, which is 88. So what I am going to do, I have to find N first. What is N? N is molecular mass what they have given me and then you know divided by empirical formula mass empirical formula which is always the simplest ratio empirical formula mass so here what do i have molecular mass that they have given me is 88 empirical formula since this is my empirical formula i can calculate its mass what is that c2 so means carbon carbon atomic number is atomic mass is 12 so 12 two times what will it be 24 plus hydrogen how many hydrogen are four right 
So atomic um, at atomic mass of hydrogen is one, one times four, it will be four. Plus oxygen, how much it is? One only and 16 times one, right? So 16. How much will I get? 24 and for 28 and this, it will be 44. So now here means my empirical formula mass is 44. So 44, one times and two times. So it means the N, the number that I get is two. Now how I am gonna use it in this formula. My empirical formula was C2H4O. I have to multiply the whole formula with two because this N is two. So C2 times means C4, H42 times eight and oxygen two. So it means my molecular formula is what? C4H8 and O2. This is how I am going to find empirical formula and molecular formula. 